Practical separate video for you and in description so that you can come to know. Now go guys one by one you can ask your question. Yeah, I have a couple of questions. So if let me open my pad and now you can ask your question. Yeah, FI is a default denial. Is WAP also default denial or uh, default? Which one? WAP, FI WAP module. Sir, WAP is I told you WAP is coming over your virtual IP. Agree? Client will yeah. initiate a traffic on virtual IP and security policy will be applied on virtual IP. Without virtual IP, F5 is nothing. Whether it's WAF, GTM, LTM or APM. You need a virtual IP. See, simple. Your view have a website. How it will make sure that client traffic will come to your virtual IP. Without virtual IP, what IP you will give in DNS? You want your traffic previously going to server. Now F5 is coming into picture. You need to tell your DNS stream, right? That hey, cnets.com, you change it to your virtual IP. See, my only agenda is traffic should come on F5. But if F5 does not find that IP, what will happen? WAF is nothing. It's just a layer 7 device policy which will apply on the virtual IP. Can someone tell me why I am applying a policy in virtual IP? Because all traffic is coming to my VIP only. My you are you getting me? My yes. All yes. the traffic of HTTP will first arrive here, my your. Okay. My, my all the traffic initially will arrive on where in F5, on which component? In F5, from Before. client first. Incoming will come where in F5? Yes. LTM. No, no. There is a concept I discussed from last one hour. First Virtual traffic IP. will excellent. So the, where you need security to be applied? Virtual IP only. We apply security policy to be excellent. Point. Got it, Mayur? Yes. And apart from that, like a uh, you know, uh, FI provides a load balancer capability. Apart from that, what is the major difference between next generation firewall and web? That I will come, sir. Do you have any question from this topic that I will no. come? That next topic no. is that one only. Any top question from this, which we have discussed? No, no, I'm good. Mayu, there are around 20 differences that until you will not go side by side, now you will not understand much difference. There are 30 differences which I will tell you why you need a WAF, why a firewall cannot do that. So don't worry. Keep we will have this discussion going on because there are 20 modules which we will discuss. And after each module, you will understand, oh, firewall cannot do this. This can be done. But a picture representation I will show you so that you can understand. Any other question, guys? Yeah, sir. I have one question. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. So uh, suppose uh, Gscalar, then LT uh, LTM or LTM, then web. Which one will be more beneficial for a client? What is the difference between Gscaler and F5? Ashim. Gscaler yes. also works as a proxy. Full, uh, Does it provides load balancing and protection no. against attacks? Uh, it provides the proxy, but the security provides, but load balancer does not provide. But F5 will provide the uh, load balancer. Can Gscaler be installed before application server? Total different technology. Gscaler is forward proxy. F5 is a reverse proxy. F5 is placed where in network, Ashim? In data center before a server. Can Gscaler be placed there? No, no, no. Uh, Gscaler is in actually uh, client facing. Hope you are getting me. Ashim? Yes, yes. It's a separate technology. Gscaler is forward proxy and F5 is a reverse proxy.
Okay. Any question, Ashim? So that's there is just, separate uh, topology. There is no G scalar is separate architecture diagram, and F5 and firewalls are placed together with DDoS, Ashim. So if you want G scalar to be placed, then it does not place in reverse proxy, Ashim. For your answer, G scalar is not placed in reverse proxy architecture network. Okay. Okay, Ashim. Okay, Any other question, guys? Uh, I this sir. Yeah, go one by one. Yeah, Murtaza, you can go ahead, then Pradeep can ask. Yes, sir. So my question is, uh, prior to F5, were there any other devices like which were providing us both the options of security as well as uh, the flow balancing or were they separately like we were doing using... Can you repeat your question? Your voice is low a little bit. Uh, hello, sir. Can you get me? No, no, it's very low, but you can tell me. Yes, sir. My question is actually prior to F5, whatever devices we were using, they were not providing the same functionalities uh, as what. Which device can you You are saying that prior to F5, is there any other device which provides this facility, right? Yeah, or was it we were using everything separately, like you NPM separately for load balancing and for security, we were using something separately? Sir, see, you tell me the device name which you are using day to day. There are load balancer, which are F5, Citrix, Redware, that provides this. That is why they came into picture. If one device can handle Mutuja everything, then why people are using this? So first, to provide hybrid security. Second, to overutilized. If firewall can provide all this, then if firewall goes down, what will happen? So in company environment, you will have multiple layer of security. Okay. Instead of one security layer, you install multiple layer. Firewall will protect your network from untrust. DDoS will provide you uh, protection against denial of service attack, where volumetric attacks comes in. See, firewall cannot protect from volumetric Mutsuza. Have you worked on any firewall? Uh, no, sir. I'm new to this uh, field, actually. Okay. So firewall does not protect against volumetric attacks. Volumetric attacks means, do you know what is DOS attack? DOS attacks means when there is a hacker, let's say Mutsuza, you have made one company called XYZ. Your competitor is Abe. Abe wants to destroy this. What it will do? He will try to initiate 100 requests so that your website gets inaccessible. Yes. So you can say difference between different products are to have multiple layer of security. Got it, sir. Firewall cannot do load balancing, so you need a load balancer. Gscaler can do URL field categorization that F5 can do. See. F5 can do everything which firewall does it. F5 can work as a layer four also. But I will still suggest F5 should be placed only in front of your application layer because F5 main role is to provide load balancing and security before. For F5, I should not place in a network between untrust and trust because if F5 goes down, then there is no other device which can provide your security. So that is why DDoS, firewall, and F5 are placed in hybrid network. Since every every time Mutruza, you are a one person in a company. If you have another person in a company, it is always advantage, right? To load yes. balance and everything. So that is the same way. I always suggest you to go with hybrid approach. For you, I have a diagram. Just one minute. Let me see for that where you were asking this question. If, if I have a picture, I will show you. So this is how the placement happens. That is the best architecture in production, which I always suggest, even an auditor. Okay. Everyone will have separate role. This looks very nice and clear. Okay. Yes. Is it clear? Yes. 
yeah hello yeah yes, sir just hello. hold on hold on pradeep you can go first okay so uh, once the traffic hit to uh, veep virtual ip how the traffic flow is like whether it will take irons or uh, cookie persist sorry can you repeat your question pradeep uh, once the traffic hit to the veep my firewall okay. veep uh, f5 veep so uh -huh. how the traffic will flow whether it will check iron first or cookie persistent sir that is not discussed here sorry for that you can call me monday to friday for that or when we we'll start courses we will do it i am let's discuss about today topic so i rule is a separate topic sir that is an ltm part cookie persistence i will cover that is a separate part for that you need to understand what is cookie okay if you okay. need to understand go to google and go and search for traffic flow when i rule there is a good article that i can share on monday you can call me i will tell you okay sure because there are many people who will get confused what is i rule and all so i don't want to touch today but okay. for your question answer is first traffic will come it will have an i rule cookie persistence is a separate concept cookie persistence does not come into picture in a traffic flow cookie persistence only come between f5 to server sir okay so that is a wrong question hello yeah go ahead abey yeah Abhi actually sorry. i mean yeah yeah actually in same box can we run i mean ltm and asm simultaneously yeah. we will run that only sir okay but it only requires some increase over ram nowadays what happen abir very good question you asked i will show you one good article i will show you Hmm. Nowadays there is a advanced web which came into picture. Okay, Abir. In that, what is the fac facility they are giving? You don't need to need LTM boxes now. Okay, this advanced web is providing you load balancing feature. So can you see these two diff three difference? Standalone advanced web, standalone ASM, and with F5 module. If you don't have LTM module, there are things which will not come. so when you have advanced web there is default ltm feature involved in the sabir so okay. for that you just need an web box but they want some load balancing some load balancing features are not there in your advanced web let's say observed fastest dynamic ratio and that you need an ltm module also so it depends on some features most of the environment you will use standard advanced web with ltm module but you need to ask your customer do they want security and do they want only round robin then you don't need to purchase ltm module are you getting me abir yes 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 so we don't have every features in i mean of ltm in web yeah advanced web see there are some features i will show you let's say they want uh, ldap load balancing they want to use it for ldap that is not supported by advanced web now if i talk about load balancing method there are different load balancing algo some load balancing algos are hey, this one is with ltm if you have web with ltm and this one is advanced web can you see empty here yes so this algos are not supported in advanced web if no, customer but... needs this algo then you need to need advanced web with ltm module also but can't we install two i mean waf module and also that ltm module in the same big ip box can't we install that you can use sir i am saying you need to first understand do you need ltm module in that you need to okay. purchase a license yes sir customer does not want a cost you can use this i will show you but nowadays what people are looking people are using to get good quality in less money right mm -hmm. so i will show you I'm. I will use the same, but I will use only web because I don't need LTM functionality. Okay, but here right. you can do. You can go to resource provisioning. Now you are doing lab. In lab, you can use all this. But when you go to production environment, when you okay. purchase a license, F5 will ask you for LTM license cost. Will ask you for ASM. License will be one, but they will take a cost for LTM and ASM module up here. Okay. Are you getting me? Yes. 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 So you need to be very careful. Yes. To ask customer. Uh, I yes. hope you are good. You got it. 
Yeah, yeah. First, we have to understand the requirement according to uh, right. we have to purchase. Correct. Yes. Any other question? Uh, no, sir, uh, I have one question. Yeah. So, sir, uh, suppose I am uh, we are accessing any website like crnet.com. So, virtual IP will use port number 80 or 443, sir. And it's a little confusing here. Means it will show sir, you tell what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? In your production HTTP. environment, you suggest HTTP or HTTPS? HTTPS only for secure. Service. But now customer is not good. He's not technical. What do he will access? He will just access cnnets.com. And let's say you don't, some customer wants that traffic should come on HTTP, but it should redirect to HTTPS. So in that case, you need both. Let's so say your parent does not have knowledge or you, my parent does not have knowledge. What is this? If they type HTTP, but if you don't have a virtual server, are you getting me? Yes, yes. Then you will get an error. Traffic will open on HTTP only, but it will, your customer will see HTTPS only. See for customer, what it, he looks, you tell me when customer access any website, first of the one, what you will look in this website, whether it has a lock or not. Nowadays, yes. we are giving training to everyone, right? For cybersecurity, even we are making our family also good in cybersecurity to understand there are a lot of scam happens, right? Let's say Umpal, you got a call that, hey, please access this website. This is with the CERC website. But you will check in my website first. Mr. Yes, Umpal, you are there? Yes, sir, I am here. When I say this is with the CERC website, please pay the fees here. But you will check there. How you will see, confirm that it's with its sir website. But you will check whether website is secure or not. Certificate. Excellent. So that's why Ompal, it depends. Mostly you will have a virtual server with both, but traffic will on finally go with HTTPS only. That so all depends on can, your customer so, requirement. So, so in, in, uh, along with virtual IP, we can configure port 80 or 443 board, right? We will have a two virtual server with 180. In 80, we will have an I rule to redirect to HTTPS. So we need two virtual servers with same IP. One on HTTP, one on 443. But when you create a 443 virtual server, you need a certificate. SSL profile. Okay, sir. This profile you need. Guys, why there are two profiles there? Anyone? There is one client profile and one is server profile. What does it mean? For uh, client to FI and FI to server server. Excellent. That is why today I told you what is full proxy. Because okay. there are two separate connections. Anyone else? Uh, so it can be used uh, uh, in uh, dif uh, different vendor. Like uh, for ADC, we can we use Netscaler. And for web, uh, we can use F5. Don't it's suggest, same. sir. You can use it. I don't suggest it, sir. Yeah. It will be really challenge to troubleshoot issues. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, Sayed here. Sir, for uh, yeah, reverse, reverse proxy, uh, sorry, for uh, forward proxy, uh, and uh, for the reverse proxy, uh, you said that uh, F5 will be placed on the uh, before the application server. So, no, uh, I did not set, sir. I did not set for forward proxy. F5 is not a forward proxy device. No, 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 no not forward proxy, sir. I'm, I'm just uh, going to ask my question. Can you just give a clarity once again for the forward proxy uh, thing? Sir, forward proxy comes into picture when user access any website. There comes your forward proxy when users from internal network connects to internet. That is called forward proxy. But reverse proxy is opposite when users from external world comes to access your website, which is placed on your internal server. That is where F5 comes into picture. So that is the difference. When user in internal world wants to access Ajtak.com. 
in that case what is happening internal network user wants to access internal internet website there comes your g scaler or forward proxy reverse proxy is opposite users from internet will come to firewall then go to f5 and server opposite from internet to f5 from internal to internet okay sayed thank you sir clear Thank you.